Hey y'all, I'm bored, so I'ma do this. TV collection, here we go. This is a, um, a Daytron DT-505A, uh, five and a half inch, little black and white TV. Only analog, doesn't get the best signal. This one was made in December 1983. It's the oldest one I have. Um, cute little TV. I really like it. I like to watch shows on it in the middle of the night, even though I can't see it half the time because it's doing that. So, this is number one. Yeah, TV number one. That's TV number one. This is TV number two. It's a Sony Watchman FD... FD-10A, made in May of 1987. I bought this on eBay. It's for like 10 bucks, and it's in like really good shape. So it's for like, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, those scratches, it's in really good shape. Um, yeah, cute little black and white TV. Oh yeah, this one I got from Goodwill for like, five bucks. It was really good. I was just really happy when I saw it. <clears throat> um, little analog TV. Like, where is it? Yeah, so that's number two. Number three, I have a, the Sylvania um, LC200 SL8A from uh, September 2007, um, I have it on WFTV right now, which is, uh, just the channel here in Orlando, uh, DTV, Analog TV, um, I got this one from Garage Sale, it was on the side of the road, and he was like, take the TV, I don't need it, just take it, um, so yeah, let's see if I can get, yeah, Will it work? Yep, there it goes. It's my pipe screensaver that I just have playing on a loop. So that's number three. Number four in this very reflective TV, I have the Vizio um, VM190XVY from September, from September 2011. Uh, I got this for five bucks from a garage sale without all the stickers on it. Have this on WESH, -E which is again just another channel. Don't think I can be playing that. Um, so yeah, just little cute TV because I needed a TV with, with HDMI um, in it because I accidentally broke my other one. Um, accidentally. I got angry and threw a phone at it. <laughs> Um, so, has all these touch controls on the front, which are really annoying, and it likes to do that whenever you touch it. So it's number four. And number five is this Vox Tech. No, just kidding. It's a Durabrand... Where's my iPod? It's a Durabrand DWT-1304A, made in April, uh... April 2005, again, customized it, if you couldn't tell, um, got it from Goodwill for like 10 bucks, again, I was really excited when I saw it, because I was like, you don't see this anymore in Goodwill, so yeah, it has the, um, where is it, it has the remote with it, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to switch to the AV, and you'd be stuck on, oh come on, back, channel return, on analog, which is useless now, because you can't, I burped, you can't watch TV anymore, unless you're like me, a nerd, so that's number five. So, number six is this Kobe... CX TV CX dash TV six, um, five inch black and white TV, analog only. Um, it doesn't have a date on it. 
so I don't know what year it's from, but it has all the, like, you know, the bands and, like, radio, but I'm not going to turn it on because I don't want to get copyrighted. Um, has, like, really finicky volume knob, like, sometimes it won't play anything, and other times it'll just play really loud, so I just usually keep it off because what am I gonna what am I realistically gonna watch on it um yeah I got this from Goodwill for like what it's like four or five dollars um I only got it because it has the AV inputs which if you hit this button it switches to but I don't have anything hooked up to it right now so it's not gonna display anything where's the button yeah so that's nothing really more else to say. That's number six. So number eight, we have the GPX uh, TV WB five three four. Um, again, didn't have a date on it. Um, but it's a little like all in one, almost like survival kit TV. Because, you know, it's got things like TV, radio, which I'm not going to play. Um, like, let's see. Flashlight. Which I've, oh, God. I've actually used a couple times. Um, but it's also got things like weather radio, which, like... It's almost impossible to tune, because this is how you have to tune it. Just flimsy knob but it's also got like lantern or well yeah like a sp almost spotlight with that and like a lantern on the back or two of them because you can have one or the other on but the thing is you can't have them all on at the same time because if you have like the tv and the lantern on yeah and also it's like okay well usually it'll you'll have like the 60 hertz hum within in the sound but whatever so that's number seven eight yeah eight wait hold on okay number seven this is number seven so, moving, um, oh yeah, before we move on to the next one, I also have it with its box, um, I, it was 20 bucks, which I, it was too much, um, from a thrift store, that's the random thrift store, and, yeah, where is it, it's a random thrift store, yeah, so that's number seven, one thing I forgot to mention is that it has... Um, the AV in and out, not in and out, the AV in again, and a normal coax connect connector, which on a lot of these small TVs is just like a little like headphone jack looking thing almost. <clears throat> and on that one over there, it's the spade connector. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, so that was like, when I saw that I was like, huh, interesting. So that's, that's something you never see. I don't know if it works, I haven't tried it yet. But also here on the side is, on the left side specifically, is where you control the V-hold, brightness, and the contrast. And yeah, that's number, TV number seven. So here's number eight. It's a, a broken, that's not supposed to be like that, Bath Pro Shop TV. Again, another one of those like camping TVs with like the, okay, well, the, like, you know, the light bulbs, like the, the lanterns, and the radio, and whatnot. So that's another five inch black and white TV, analog, 
Um, yeah. I think this might be the one where, like, oh no, it isn't, never mind. Um, but it has, ah, that's bright. It's right in my eye. A little lamp and the lantern on the back. It was just a normal C CFL bulb. Like, yep. Nothing interesting. Um, it does have a siren too, which is really loud. Like, <laughs> it's really loud. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the other GPX WeatherX thing one has that too, but it's not as loud. <clears throat> so, did I say what this is from? I don't think I did. If I did, oh well. I just took a wild guess and was like, um, it's probably from, like, 2004. I don't know. But here on the back, we have another external antenna, which is just, like, headphone jack, pretty much. Um, charging. Um, V-hold, brightness, contrast. And this, I broke. It's supposed to turn like that, but I turned it the other way, and it's, like completely snapped off and I don't care enough to fix it so that's TV number eight here's what remains of a TV um it's just like the guts of one a TV that was like really cheap from Goodwill oh yeah the last one this um Bass Pro Shop one which I also have the box for um was just from Goodwill, like six bucks. I know it was more about like ten, I think. Um. Anyways, I don't know if that's right. I think that's radio. I cut out the speaker on this one for some reason. Is that on? Hello. Um. I think this one might have died. Yeah, that's on TV. Oh, I hear it. Hello? I hear something. Heater's not glowing. Oh. Oh, there it goes. Yep. It shut off again. Okay. It is not happy, like, at all. Um, anyways, this is just a TV. Oh, God. What is that? It's just a TV. Oh, I smell burning. As Just as it finished turning on. Um, just a TV from the 80s that I took the case off. And now, I'm going to find a place to put it that doesn't set my house on fire. This technically doesn't count, but it is from a TV. I don't know. But it's just a little, another 5-inch black and white tube TV. Not tube TV. CRT tube that I took out from little TV, TV like that one, that had a bad, like, I don't know, the, the geometry on it was all weird and I couldn't fix it I was also like four years ago so yeah that's yeah so this is TV number nine I think yeah number TV number nine it's a Casio TV dash 770 a little analog LCD TV, um, and I just took a wild guess and said it was from like 2001, like February. Um, but I got it from Goodwill with the case, little carrying case, which is somewhere for like 10 bucks, 12 bucks, somewhere around there. And it's a cute little TV that I just keep in my little display next to my eye penguin. 
I don't know how well you're gonna see this, but we're on my floor now. This is an RCA E13169GM from June 1980, June 89. Listen to that degaussing. Um, ah, where is it? Volume, shut up. Uh, I don't have an antenna hooked up to it right now, but it does get a signal. Um, I got this one from my uncle for Christmas. It's the one thing I asked for him for Christmas. And if, I don't know if you can see that, how oh, that's lighter than this side. That's something wrong with like, I don't know. So it needs recapped, I'm pretty sure. But there's nothing really more to say about that. Um, really cute, really like it. Shame that I can't really use it because that's really annoying. But, mm, ow, my foot cramped. That is TV number 11? Yeah, 10 or 11. Last one and my biggest one is a Memorex NVDT 2002 from October 2005. Got this one for 20 bucks from, um, where was it, a car shop that was closing. It does receive an analog signal. Only two channels though, it's literally only three and four, um, because I don't have a remote with it. Um, and it doesn't like to receive a, a color signal, specifically from my janky setup. I don't know why, because like if you turn on the VCR, the color works just fine. But it's specifically from my um, fire stick, which it just hates for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know how to fix it. But it's a DVD VCR, um, DVD VCR TV, 20 bucks again from Closing Garage. Um, this is just like my main thing because I got like my Wii, Xbox, PlayStation, and like a, C a DVD play changer down there. Um, so, um, that is it. The, the, I never know how to end these. Uh, 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 yeah, let's do like one of those like vlogger ones where it like ends with the TV turning off.